Hello. I think I've lost my will to live. Fucked and drank all night. Acted all alright. Hi. We are outside in my backyard today because if you watched my last video, you would know. Um, I'm gonna be tie dyeing today. Yeah, so that's the plan. Not sure how well it's gonna work out. Never done tie dye in my life. So we're just gonna kind of wing it a little bit. I bought this tie dye kit from Spotlight the other day and it pretty much comes with everything that you could ever need. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear the noises of literally everyone that decided to mow their lawn just as I felt like filming this video. Just quickly, I've got like a white polo shirt with a collar and then I've got like a kind of grey, just plain t-shirt so I'm not sure how that's going to die. And then I've got a brand new like white hoodie and then a plain white long sleeve and then just at the last minute I decided I'm going to dye some socks as well. I've also got these aluminium roasting trays. I got four of them just to kind of stop things from going everywhere. But I also have the tarp on the ground and I'm doing it outside. So if it's going to go anywhere, like it's not the worst thing in the world. First, what I'm going to do is figure out what kind of technique I'm going to do on each item and then go from there, I guess. So I'm going to pinch and just twist which I think is what you're supposed to do this doesn't feel right but I'm sure it's fine so <laughs> okay I'm just going to do the designs for everything and then I will come back and show you what I have done for each thing I have just mixed all the dyes you've got orange, pink, blue, green and yellow and then I've got the refills here if I'm going to need them but I don't think I will and I was just going to show you guys what I did for each item of clothing. So the first thing that I did, this is the hoodie. It was really difficult to do, but I attempted to do just like the spiral thing. So hopefully should turn out similar to that. Um, the only two I really liked was the spiral and the crumple and I didn't really like anything else, but I tried to do a little bit more than just that. And then I've got my long sleeve t-shirt, which I also just did this like swirl with, which is the spiral, I guess. And then for my socks, I just did crumple as much as physically possible. And then for the basic t-shirt, I just did crumple as well. Last but not least, I decided I didn't hate that. So for my polo top, I've done bullseye. So this is pretty much the only variation of one. So I guess we're just going to have to see. This is the long sleeve top. It's just in the swirl. And I'm just going to do like a different color in each segment. That's kind of the plan, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've only got five. Or I'll just do a little bit extra of one color. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'm just going to eyeball it, to be honest. <laughs> the, oh, that worked, didn't it? Why is it not like soaking in? Okay, so yellow is getting everywhere. Why is it just like falling off of the fabric? Was I supposed to make this wet or something? Absorb. Okay, this isn't really going how I planned, but oh well. I don't know why it's not soaking in properly. It might be because of um, the fabric that I've chosen. I think this is my long sleeve top done. So this is my first one, which I'm actually kind of impressed by. I'm gonna keep going. I'll probably speed up this whole process um, for you guys because it's probably really boring to watch. Hi. It's a little bit later. Um, I finished my long sleeve top and my plain top. And 
and I've also done my socks, which I just did in red. So, this next bit, I'm just going to do my hoodie and then my polo shirt and then I'm done. I feel like I've been doing this forever, but what I've got is my hoodie, all rainbow, looking cute. And then I've got my long sleeve top, which is all rainbow. And then my just basic t-shirt is uh, blue and pink. And then I've got my socks, which are just red. And then my polo top, which is, I don't know why I'm saying the colors. You can see them. But yeah, this is them all done. I'm so excited for that. And also that one, that one looks amazing. I'm just excited for them all, to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is wrap them all up in plastic. I've got these plastic bags, which are actually just biodegradable compost bags. Um, so I'm just going to wrap each thing up in its own bag. I'm just going to wrap everything up and leave it for like 24 hours just so it can sit. I will have to rinse everything out and then I will show you guys the finished product probably like tomorrow. I am so excited. 24 hours later. It is currently the next day and I have washed and dried everything that I've tie dyed. I let it sit for about 24 hours, not exactly, but overnight I think does the trick. So I thought I would just show you guys what everything looks like, my thoughts, what I like and what I don't like. But the first thing that I dyed were these socks. These are obviously just like plain white socks and they've also got like... They've got Mickey Mouse on them, which is really cute. So I did like crumple for these and I literally love them. They remind me of like Stussy. There's a fucking fly. They remind me of like the Stussy brand ones, which are actually like really expensive. So, well, as socks go, yeah. So I really like them and I think I will wear them. Next was my plain t-shirt. Yeah, I did the crumple method with this as well. And this is how it's turned out. I also really like this. It's definitely different, but I think that's a good thing about tie-dye is it all turns out pretty different. And I think that the design on the back looks pretty cool as well. So yeah, that's the top. I like this. Um, yeah, I will wear it. I think it's cool. The next thing I'm going to show you is the long sleeve top. I really like this. It accidentally kind of turned all blue, but it's fine. I did this with just the swirl method. As you can see, like it's kind of turned everything blue, which kind of happened with everything because the darkest color in the tie dye kit is blue. It, when I washed it, it kind of just made everything blue. But I don't, like, I'm not really mad about it at all. I really, really, really like this top. I think it looks so cool. And I like that you can actually see the spiral in it. The next one is the polo top, which I don't really know if I like. I like the design, but I just don't know if I like tie-dye on, like, a polo shirt with a collar. So for this one, I did, I think it's called Bullseye. Not an expert, so. Yeah, this is called Bullseye. I think um, yeah so I just did green blue and yellow last but not least the thing you've all been waiting for which is why I left it till the end the hoodie I freaking love this okay I'm gonna show you the front first the front is a little bit underwhelming but I promise you it gets better so this is the front for some reason there's like no dye on the front bit but then it goes down and then it's all over the pocket everything like that the arms are so nice and oh my god wait for the back and I also really like that I managed to dye the drawstring so I think they look really cool and the hood is also really cool and then this is the back <gasps> I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm by no means an expert in tie-dye I just thought it would be fun and thought it would spice up this global pandemic for me so that's what i did yeah give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment 
what your favourite one is. Which item is your favourite? I definitely think the hoodie, which I kind of knew all along. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe if you want. And I hope you're all doing well, mentally and physically. And also emotionally. Yeah, I love you guys very much. And I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Oh, <laughs>